If I didn't tell you that this was a Cracker Barrel parking lot, you'd be convinced this was a campground. Pretty amazing. I really hope these days aren't numbered and that uh, people are treating this with respect because Cracker Barrel is doing us all a solid by letting us stay here. So, my message to everyone out there, if you're gonna use Cracker Barrel parking lot to park overnight, treat it with respect. All right, Audra, where to next? Uh, type in South Jetty Beach. Head northeast toward Commercial Court. Thanks for joining us for another Van Life Travel Series. Got a view of the inlet and the beach and the pier in the distance. Nice. And it's time for me to go visit the ladies' room. Yes, Steve. That means I'm going to make right. big potty. That means she's got to go big potty. I beat you to your punchline. See you later. Yummy. Oh. Would you like some milk for that? Milk, it does your body good. Pass it on. And did you know that we have a new refrigerator? Did you see our last video? Look, no more ice. Awesome. We're taking our breakfast to a scenic spot. dolphins on this Gulf Coast trip. So it's nice out here this morning and there's little least turns flying around all over. That's the one that just dove in to get his little breakfast. That's all I have to say about that. Snowy Egret had his breakfast delivered this morning. Got a bike parade here this morning. And it looks like we've got our regulars that hang out here in the morning for coffee and chit chat. Not a bad little place to congregate. Waldo, where's Steve? The red shirt, can you see him? Right out there. Enjoying the morning. Oh, 
Well, Steve just got back. I finished exercising. What have you been doing, Steve? It was a successful mission. What were you doing? <laughs> I went big potty. Oh, Steve does go big potty. Uh, it's been a couple days, so I was due. <laughs> <laughs> You're admitting that to the world, huh? Good job, Steve. You could do it. I knew it. I'm getting a little work done in this nice little spot using the hotspot on my phone, which works sometimes. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> right. And here's my little companion, the fabulous Lady Grey. She doesn't care a lick where we're parked. She just wants to sleep. Look at those cute little toes. We're in historic downtown Venice right now, and there's all these sculptures around town. It's called Fantasy Venice. There's lots of mermaids and seahorses, I think, so let's go see how many we can find. Got another seahorse. So that was a very quick look at downtown. We were there for what, like 15 minutes? To see a bunch of the mermaids and I think we found one seahorse, two seahorses. Um, we wanted to wrap it up quick though because the sun's setting and we wanted to get back out to the water for the sunset. So we're going to head back out to the jetty where we were this morning. Hopefully there'll be a parking spot so we can take in the pretty sunset. There's a lot of clouds so it should be pretty. We found a spot. There weren't many spots. It's a popular place for the sunset, which is understandable. There's a few other vans here. We met the guy in this little teardrop motorcycle earlier today. Now there's a lot of vans since we were here this morning. The whole lot is full. Check it out. Burning question. What do you think of the sunset? How would you rate it? Definitely five bands. Yeah. Was the, Spectacular. What, was the one of the most amazing sunsets you've ever seen here at Venice? Is this Venice Beach, Florida, or just Venice? You're Florida? asking the wrong guy. I think this is Venice Beach, Florida. So we're here making dinner after the sunset. We've had this car here next to us has just been running and running, but we think they're finally leaving, so that'll be kind of nice to have a little quiet. One of the downsides of van life is you can't really control what's around you sometimes, other than just leaving a place. So we got this nice spot by the water. Like I said, this car is running and running and running, which isn't super pleasant when you kind of make dinner and enjoy the environment. Anyway, could be a lot worse. The funny thing is, the same thing happened to us yesterday while we were making dinner, wasn't it? There, no, it was earlier today. We were just hanging out in the van. There was a truck next to us. Yeah. The guy was sleeping and he had the AC on and the car running, the truck running. 
He was there so long, we actually went and checked to make sure he was alive. <laughs> Steve looked in the window and made sure he was breathing. So we know how to pick the good spots. What's 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 the update? So the running commentary is the seatbelt is on. Oh, 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 oh look, there they go. Reverse. Look. Yes. Ah, oh, you hear that? It's the sound of almost silence. How's it going over there, Chef? Good. Mexican part two is almost ready. It is beautiful. Well, it's really nice sitting here. Dinner's really good. Temperatures have actually dropped quite a bit since earlier today when we were at the library it rained and that really brought the temps down but still comfortable enough that we can sit here with the slider door open. I know you guys mostly see this cat sleeping <laughs> so this is rare video evidence that our cat does more than just sleep. And sometimes she does look outside. Now to the most important part of the evening. Well maybe after the sunset. It's time for some hot chocolate. Wait for it. Oh, with peppermint mocha whipped cream. So, these are a special holiday product at Aldi. Goes on clearance after Christmas. This is good till May, but because it's after Christmas, it was only 75 cents. So that's a reminder to check out the bargains at Aldi. Yeah. Well, we've arrived back at the Cracker Barrel campground in Venice, Florida. We've had a couple of good days here in Venice. I think the kitty approves, <laughs> right? We also approve. Uh, we found Venice to be obviously beautiful, but uh, ample free parking as well, which always helps. We like when, when you're there's... out and about and trying to explore. You don't have to fight to find parking or free parking. Yeah, we like the free parking by the beach. So that's it for this time. It's the time for the kitty to have her dinner and our bedtime soon here. So we will see you next time. We're going to keep exploring going north a little bit by a little bit. We're also going to be seeing some other van lifer soon. So stay tuned. Thanks as always for watching. We love hearing from you. So please let us know you're watching by dropping us a comment below. See you next Until time. Until next time. See ya.